I'm here addressing the uh, throttle body, uh, the screws and uh, bolt situation right now. So get ready to take the intake off and pull the one original or Allen bolt out and uh, see if what my buddy gave me matches up or if I need to go get a set or what. And I'll just use his spares to make sure it bolts in. So that's what I'm doing right now. That didn't work out too well. So I'm gonna pull that out. I just have to shout out my buddy Mike. And he he came in clutch. Uh, the day the throttle body fell off and I was talking to him and everything and he ended up finding bolts and cutting them down. And when I say I'm talking like perfect from just eyesight, <laughs> he actually killed it. So thank you, bro. At least now I can put these in I can get another set just for spares but I'm lock tightening these things in so this should not come out again all right just quick mock but put the uh, new bolts in I'm getting ready to take one out at a time lock tight them and they will never be coming off with this take manifold again unless I absolutely want them to so lesson learned lock tight your bolts Just like that. All good again. Woohoo! So today I'm changing the uh, wheels on the EK. Um, I had those 949s powder coated, I had one wheel repaired. I picked up these 225 45s used, and unfortunately, something weird going on with them. The car didn't ride uh, well on the CRX, and they don't ride good on the UK. I don't know if it was toe or camber wear that I had mismatched, but I have a set of Mini Cooper Fat Fives <laughs> that I have as spares that I'm going to go ahead and throw on this car right now. Uh, that way I can at least, you know, drive the car around. I'm on a main road, so. Um, so while I do that, I'm, the original plan was to use those 949s as the track wheel, well, for the CRX wheels, actually. That's why I'm powder coat of bronze and everything, so. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do. I kinda like the C28s on it, but I can always run a 205 and everything will clear on that too, so. Uh, the EK is a stock fenders, CRX is stock fenders, so I'm really not trying to roll fenders. Um, but if I have to, I will, not a big deal. So right now I'm putting these wheels on. Got one side on, just noticed. And that's what you get for cheap coilovers. I've never had a coilover set rust, let alone as fast. So yeah, I don't see these lasting very long. <laughs> I was warned about these, but they were cheap, under $200, couldn't say no, I was like, whatever, my suspension was blown, so, you know, I'm gonna ride out until I don't ride no more, I guess. Another one going on. Alright, wheels are installed. Look terrible. 
Uh, I got the hood open right now. I'm checking. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just disconnect power steering for now. I know it's I mean, used to drive with no power steering anyway. So, but uh, reservoir is pretty much empty and you know, hot's not all the way empty. But let me see. see it's pretty low. So instead of it continuously just leaking out my driveway, I'll just deal with it. I'll just take power steering off for now. Other than that, I don't see, I saw some drips on the oil pan itself. So I might have an oil leak still somewhere, but you know, I did the valve cover gasket and all that, uh, everything top end, start from the top, work your way down kind of deal because everything's leaking anyway. So I fixed the oil leaks over here. This was all covered in oil, so. It's definitely coming from the main seal underneath the transmission and maybe just the oil pan gasket itself which i mean it's a little more of a pain because i gotta take the header off and i don't think that's been off in probably a long time so we'll see i might be able to deal with just a little oil pan leak but i mean i guess if i'm taking everything down like it's not much more work, but brakes are getting halfway there, so that's gonna work out for the rear disc swap perfectly. Other than that, it's not bad. Not bad for really not cleaning it up at all. There's engine bay itself is like damaged, the paint, I, I don't know, but it's not a show car, it's a daily. If I build it it's not going to be a show build or anything like that so that's what i have the crx for uh so yeah, i'm gonna go ahead and disconnect power steering pump i guess take the belt off and uh yeah i'll leave it at that for now uh, i do have a squeak with the ac compressor i don't know if that's belt related or if it's actually compressor related but i have a new belt to throw in there but i'm not going to deal with that right now press for time so yeah that's it for now i have someone that wanted to say hello <laughs> say hi hi so what am i doing you're taking a video am i taking a video yeah yeah silly girl all right belt's off so no big deal. I'm deal with that. I have to order a rack for this thing. I have, I have some parts to put on this car too. I just uh, haven't had time. Been dealing with this, doing the trip, and everything like that. And like I said, this is more of a priority as long as this runs, which it does. I just gonna try to stop the leaks for now. And just got Cirex washed up for uh, Mark's meet tomorrow. Wash the UK too. She was dirty. Get ready to wash my wife's car right now. So. All nice and sparkly. This one's still wet. I dry this one off. Morning guys, it is a uh, quarter to nine. I'm getting ready to get the car out and go head out to Mark Schmidt. He's already there, I saw his post, so I'm gonna gather some supplies and hit the road here. I need to stop, get some gas, and we'll be there.
nice little local gathering here. Just finished up the meet with uh, Mark. We're going to get some food right now at Twin Peaks. Get some videos of these cars. Running.
here at Twin Peaks. Getting ready to get some food. Everybody's stunting. Everyone made it, it looks like. Just had some good food at Twin Peaks. We're getting ready to ride out to the photo shoot area right now. Say what's up, dog. Well, we out here. Regular <laughs> Saturday, man. EFs and CRX is out. We came to make this scene later. Well, we out here, man. I go by stretch. AC performance. You already know.
just finished up with the photo shoot with all the guys. Good time. A bunch of pictures. Hopefully some come out nice. Wasn't the best for uh, lighting, but uh, it was a good time. Go back from Mark's meet. Good turnout. A lot of fun. Met new people. Saw some great sweet cars. Okay. Apparently, I need to learn how to park in my own garage. I'm trying to run over all the parts. So yeah, good time. Car did fine. Didn't really have any problems with it. So. Don't really have anything else planned for this weekend. Just gonna relax. Do some editing, I guess, put this video together. Got a couple days worth. So until next time. See ya. So I'm gonna end it off here. You wanna say what you got? What you got? Rocks, where'd those come from? Yeah, okay. You wanna say bye?